Hello there. I created this video to talk a little bit about uh, buying stuff on the internet. Uh, I got so tired of all the eBay scams and everything, so I decided to try Starlight Envy. And I just thought, okay, it's a little bit more expensive than the others, but uh, they, they promised a new tube, so I was expect expecting it to be new, which it wasn't. It stands here, these tubes are new, old stock, we guarantee blah 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 and blah blah blah. And then I contacted Julian and I wrote like you can read here. I made I have some questions, how do you test your tubes? You just switch them on and look at the image quality, are they grade A, blah blah blah, and used so here's his answer. They are new, unused, old stock. Very important. He said unused. So I was expecting a brand new, unused tube. And then the tube came. But it was a... Mm, how should I say it? The package... Yeah, I don't care about the package that much. But uh, I noticed immediately the rubber around the output lens parts of it was missing. So I got a little bit suspicious about it. And uh, when I looked closely at the input and output lens, I noticed some fine, really fine scratches. I hope they won't be showing on the videos. And uh, now we're gonna get back to the tube. I'm gonna switch camera. This is recorded with X split, as you can see. And uh, yeah, I'll just go to the camera and show you what I did with the tube. And now we're back. As I said, the packaging was horrible. This is how it looks. It was all wrapped up in. Yeah. Bubble wrap and shit. Really cheap tape. You can see here where the rubber on the output lens pressed. And you won't see inside it, but there was nothing on the input lens to cover it or protect it. It was just pressed against the thing so yeah anyway I don't care about that I was caring about getting a new tube and I yeah I didn't get it here's how the rubber looked this was uh, this, this has a have had a crack in it so I had to remove that bit because it was like dangling around here and I don't want that you can see plenty of fine scratches. I mean, yeah, on both lenses. Scratches on the tube. Fuck it. <laughs> uh, this was the ring that was around it. And it looks genuine. And it's kind of pressed against the ring, so I guess they couldn't fake that. I want to say that uh, I got suspicious about this being new when I saw the rubber here. I didn't give it much attention when I opened it. 
from the package. And then I started looking carefully at the uh, input and output lens and I saw the scratches. And I went to work today. I didn't care much about it or anything like that. But then when I got home, hey, I thought about removing the ring to see if indeed they haven't touched it. And you can see here there's a lot of uh, silicone bits. <laughs> you can tell you, I mean, the ring was like this. And so as soon as I, as I started to turn the ring, the aluminum ring, there were bits and pieces of the silicone dropping all over this. And I immediately had that gut feeling that told me this wasn't right. So I opened it all the way and guess what? Two o'clock, they didn't even bother to fill it up completely here. So yeah, you can see it's a silicone type of thing. It's not rubber, like the ring here, the ring around the input lens. It's rubber. This is silicone. You can see it better with the naked eye because it shines. It's, it's not like... You can see it was filled up. I guess they got better at it. But they couldn't fool me. So, um, yeah. I just uh, wanted to warn you uh, that uh, Starlight NV is no longer a reliable supplier of the PA tubes and they will charge you with uh, over 200 pounds for it so instead of buying from them you can buy the same crappy tube on eBay for half that price or buy a B grade for a quarter of that price and uh, yeah <laughs> you saw the email he stated the tubes are brand new unused unused to me means unused and it should should have looked like really impeccable not the way it looks right now so I don't know you can all make your own opinions. So this is my, this is the third time I get fucked on <laughs> products I bought online, and it, it's all about the night vision. No, I'm lying. I bought a infrared pointer too, an infrared laser. Be careful when you buy those because they. They don't tell you it's not infrared, it's near infrared, so be very careful when you buy them, because they're all crappy. They, they, they're all at just about the same price, between 30, 35 and 45, 50 bucks a piece. It's not that they are Chinese, because most of the products in the world are, are now made in China, but I'm, I'm just telling you, I got fucked on that one too, so doesn't matter. It's not such a big deal for me. 20, 30 bucks, I, I won't even stress about sending in back or anything like that, but uh, yeah, I'm just letting you know, be careful where you buy your stuff. The next step for me would be a brand new night vision. I'm gonna save my money instead of throwing it away on crappy stuff bought on the internet because it's not worth it. <laughs> so I, I just decided I, I'm gonna save a lot of money and buy myself a brand new one. I hope. I won't get fucked again. I can only hope. So this is just about it. 
Yeah, with this occasion I got to test the camera that I bought, the Sony Alpha 6000 that I'm gonna use for astrophoto. Right now the weather is not that great in Sweden but I hope I'll get the pleasure to show you some quality photos, astrophotos. I've never done it but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> There's a lot of info on the internet. So that's just about it. Stay safe out there and if you want you can share this so in the night vision community so that everybody knows because we have to stop these crooks and liars my opinion anyway stay safe out there have a good one